Well, lean manufacturing has been a, a very significant part of this business, and I'm sure every business going forward. Um, it's about how you can improve the efficiency of the business day by day. So it's about looking at every aspect of the business, streamlining it, reducing waste and improving efficiency right the way down the line through every detail. So it's a very involved process. Essentially Lean uh, is all about creating flow within the workplace and the minimisation of waste, uh, the seven wastes, which are transport, inventory, motion, um, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing, defects. So it's all about just understanding where these wastes are applied within uh, the day-to-day -day operations. It's all about uh, filtering down and creating ideas at the shop floor. What we're trying to do is tap into that expertise and knowledge and uh, work with them, give them tools and techniques about delivering change within, within the business. Environmental issues are massively important for us here at Pinnies, not just for ourselves but for our customer Martin and Spencer. They have what they call Plan A because there is no Plan B. The key things for us as part of our strategy is to reduce our carbon footprint year on year. Um, and we're successfully achieving that. We're operating at around about 18% reduction year on year. And that includes uh, reductions on utilities. And on average, we're about 11% reduced on, on usage year on year there as well. So it's all helping the environment. Uh, we have a dedicated resource that actually looks after that, monitors that and controls that on site to help us achieve that. With me being here for the 10 year period now, and having come straight from university, they've continually developed my role to help me with training and other resources in order for me to take on different tasks and different projects, the biomass project being one example. What we had previously was two fuel oil boilers which burned kerosene and supplied steam to the factory. And we've now replaced that with one biomass boiler that burns wood chips and supplies steam to the factory. We class it as a carbon neutral fuel. The steam produced from the plant is used throughout the, the factory we're currently looking at other ways of using some of the excess steam on site, for example, heating buildings or using it for other purposes. We usually have every year um, a student placement program, um, as well as the placement program through um, the Business Environmental Partnership. This will be our third year now that we've worked with them, taking on a student for uh, 10 weeks um, and we decide what the, the placement is going to be. This year it's uh, water harvesting, last year it was um, reduction of utilities, gas, electricity and water and the year before we were looking at uh, reducing water consumption. A lot of these initiatives are working. Uh, we're very happy that um, the work and the time that we're investing in such uh, placements is really coming to fruition. Uh, we've seen some great work um, in our environmental work because it's enabling me to put a person to it as a, as a dedicated job. A lot of our recruitment of uh, skilled specialist technologists, scientists is based in close collaboration with academic institutions. At the moment we're uh, hosting three placement students from the University College in Cork. We've just completed, we've just completed two placement, completed two placement students, two placement students, a lot of our recruitment. I graduated from Aberdeen University in Dundee. I've been working here for 18 months now. I work within each different department within the company for a period of three months, gaining a vast amount of knowledge, skills and processes and development procedures that they go through. I'm in university in Ireland and I'm doing, uh, as part of our degree, we do a six month work placement. So um, we choose uh, companies that we'd like to do interviews for and obviously I saw McVie and I uh, relished the chance to go work and travel around Scotland for six months and obviously the company really uh, it looked really good, like the opportunities they have and working in, in a small development team. Um, it, it just seemed like a great opportunity. I have another year of college to um, complete and uh, hopefully um, I'll end up working in the food industry and may possibly even come back to McPhee once I'm finished my degree. I started about three years ago, came straight from school and it's just involving like working in two different departments over in quality control and development. It's just like baking stuff from production, make sure it's all up to scratch, and through in development, it's like making sure the recipes and everything works before it goes out to customers. I've really enjoyed my career in food, and I'm still enjoying it. And I think one of the one of the great things about food is it it, 
is tastes travel. And I think uh, if you're interested in working internationally, uh, brands and, and products do travel very well and uh, it does give you an opportunity to work internationally. Also, I mean, I've been involved in sales, marketing, manufacturing and strategy and acquisitions. So, you know, buying businesses, putting them together. And I suppose one of the benefits of food is that it does enable you to work right across those disciplines. If you have an interest, I think it's a great career to be involved in. And there are lots of opportunities. Very, very rewarding job, yeah. Walk into the store and you see your products. You know, it's a fantastic feeling, you know. Proud, proud moments. I love everything here, I love my job, I, I love the people who work here, I love the industry I'm in, that's why I'm here. <laughs>